Hey sports fans, here we are out of the property today. Um, inside the cabin right now because uh, we're just got a little bit of stuff done. Um, I'm gonna go through the update um, <clears throat> in a in a little bit, um, but for right now, um, I'm just going to re uh, show that. Should have done start this outside, but anyway. So as you can see. We got the flagpole up. The flagpole's up. And we got the, the pulley up there and everything else like that. So we're ready to go for putting the flags up. So the first two flags that we're gonna put up, as you can see, this is the, what some would call the proper Canadian flag, the, the red ensign. And this was the flag up until they came up with Pearson's pennant, the Maple Leaf. But this is the true Canadian flag. And then right underneath that is gonna be this flag that my cousin Stephen got me. So that's going up. So those are the two that are going up and we will, we will film that. Um, I will apologize right now that um, when we put the flagpole up on Wednesday, I forgot to turn the camera on. I had everything set up and John come out to help me and I forgot to turn the camera on, so I never got footage of us putting the flagpole actually up. So it was an interesting process. It actually went a little better than I thought, um, and it actually looks really good if you, uh, if you step back and take a look. But it shows up really nice, and it's, you know, it's a little bit, it's got a little bit of a bend to it, but when you get over to here and you take a look, it's perfect. So, and it does flip down that way. So it's not gonna interfere with the roof and it's far enough away from the roof of the cabin that we shouldn't have a problem. Might hit a couple pine branches that we can deal with. So for the moment, that's what's going on right now for the moment. Um, I got a little bit of things to do and then we will cut back in to putting up the flags and then I'll do an update, the weekly update for the property. So that's what's happening today. It's a beautiful day out, it's sunny. We're supposed to get a little bit of rain tonight, chance of thunder showers later this afternoon, but it's warm, it's beautiful out here. And as Jackie Stewart would say, it's a great, great day for motor car racing. So anyway, we will come back when we put the flags up on the flagpole. We will see you here. Hey sports fans. Okay, now we're gonna put the flags up. So here's the, uh, here's the red ensign. And I don't have the proper clips and I can't seem to find them anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I don't know if that knot is gonna hold. So I got a washer, just, this is just temporary. For the moment so I got a washer and I can knot on the other side of this washer for right now we'll change it over to proper clips so I'll see about getting some so that's not gonna pull through All right so let's get this up that in there for a moment because you're not allowed to have flags proper flags I don't think that appeals to the fuck Trudeau flag but we'll try to use proper flag etiquette anyway and not let it touch the ground I don't have anything to connect these two for the moment so what I've decided on is Just a zip tie. For the moment, that's going to go. Hoist these up. And Oh, look at that. Oh, 
I don't know if you can see that, but that's kind of cool. So we got to put So here comes the fun part. So what I'm going to do for the moment Cuz I don't know how much rope I need. So for the moment we're just going to use it all. I will This is how we're going to do it. Make sure I have enough that if I want to put a single flag up, I've got enough to come down to that. I'm not sure what that's called, those little things picking up. But anyway. So as we put the flags up. As we put the proper canadian flag up. Oh, there's the washer. No, oh, I lost the washer. Where'd it go? It fell out somewhere. Oh, there it is. Basically what we want for the time being is there'll be a clip on here, right? So but we want some extra that should do it. What do you think? I think we'll do it there. I apologize for not getting this set up earlier, but I wanted to see you guys. I wanted you guys to, to see me. Just like fucking smoke, they're falling everywhere. Did not work out the way I planned. It's just like fucking having a fire. The smoke just follows everywhere. So are the flags. So we're going to burn those ends off. That's what we used to do at my dad's shop. One more ropes. Okay. Ooh, still warm. So I'll put that on there. We're going to do a quick. I suppose I should have done this the other way, but anyway. Do a quick knot just to keep it on there. This right, we'll 
kit. Top of the washer. And here, tighten it down. So that'll hold it for the moment. So, as we're doing this, just hum to yourself the maple leaf forever. I don't know if you see that. It's <coughs> Ooh, sounds bright. Should be some wind up there. Top, so we get just the hair down from the top. It looks like we got enough rope. And although you probably can't see it, well, they're blowing a little bit. And let's get it out of the sun. And our flags are up. So now we officially have flags at the property. Let's go from the other side. Oh, a little bit of a breeze. We get some flag action. Yes, there we go. Oh yeah, of course I come around here and it's down again. There you go. Our flags are officially up at the property. So just hum to yourself the Maple Leaf Forever, which should be the true Canadian national anthem again. And that's the true Canadian flag. And uh, so that's putting that up for right now. Um, I got a couple more, little more things to do. And then I will just add on to this. We'll go at the end and, and we'll, do the, uh, we'll do the weekly update. So give me a little bit of time. It'll be like a blink of an instant for you, but a little bit of time for me. And we will see you here. Hey, sports fans. Here we are. Here is our weekly update for what's been going on at the cabin slash pan property this week. Um, we'll start inside. Um, not really a whole lot going on in here. I get Ken's little, uh, uh, battery operator blower. Um, so I do blowing some leaves around from out of the equipment and stuff like that. And we'll go around that. Um, but, uh, yes, we're, we're working on the wiring here. We just got a little bit to finish up. Um, we got that one coming from the switch. We got that one coming from power, which isn't hooked up yet, but... And now we got this one going to light, so we just got to hook, solder all these together, hook them up, and then we'll be done with the power. Um, that's pretty much about it. I'm charging one of Ken's batteries there. Everything else is pretty much the same in here. There's not a whole lot going on. Jeremy and Kaylee are coming down next weekend. So I'll get Jeremy to help me with the wood stove and move it out. And we'll get the pipes cleaned, and then I can get the, uh, the stand done. As we move outside, it's 22 degrees out here. It's beautiful. Not really a whole lot of animal activity other than squirrels and chippies going around. I haven't seen one deer yet today. Um, so Wednesday, we put the flagpole up. John come out and help me. We got the flagpole put up. Um, we had to turn it 180 degrees because I did have it laying down that way. When we put it up, it kind of, as you can see the tin there at the corner, I tap, it, it hit it and tapped it up. So we had to turn it around so it's going this way when it comes down. It might hit a branch or two, but nothing, no big deal. Um, so we got everything in there. Of course, our flags are up. We've got our, you, you've seen them in the, in the other part. We got that all done. Um, I took the blower out and I blew out all the friggin' leaves that were in here and cleaned this up. Um, so we got to move the wood 
down to here and then put the other wood back up there. And not having a bonfire this week. Ken's going out camping. Um, I did take some more pallets apart. I gotta cut the grass again. I cut it friggin' cut it friggin' last Friday and look how long it is like this right. It's like Jesus man. But then again in August I won't be cutting it at all because nothing will grow. Um, but again I took the blower and you can see I blew out all the leaves from around the equipment in here. Um, just so it doesn't accumulate stuff. Um, I had to take stuff out of here it was a little bit damp so um like i say i'm building a uh this board here we're going to build a little roof off of that to cover our uh our wood hauler we're going to get that stained too um so it helps to uh helps to keep it and that's all done i blew away some leaves uh, around the uh, the pump hose because they were the same thing as the, as the leaves around here so I blew them away um, I'm gonna take those big boulders from over there that we got dug up when we were doing the conduit and they're gonna be placed down here as a kind of demarcation line um, for our wood again we got more wood to split and say the grass is just growing like a freaking weed you can kind of see the flags a little bit better from here the um the fuck trudeau one is made out of some thin stuff it blows really easy whereas the red ensign is made from a heavy material so it takes a little bit more breeze to move it Trees are greening up beautifully. This used to be an apple tree here. Um, and for whatever reason, it died. So one thing, I'm gonna clean it up and cut it up for firewood, as well as that birch that's back in there. It fell down, firewood. We got a pine tree that fell. We'll have to clean up for brush, get Ken to burn it, another tree. So we're gonna clean that up, hopefully in the next little while. And was it Wednesday? I think it was Wednesday. We built a new, we built and installed a new cage for Travis, so it's a little bit bigger. Um, it's a dog thing. I took off. Uh, I, I don't know how you could fucking put a dog or something in there. Like that's just I don't know. But anyway. So we took the extra two pieces we had, made a top for it, pounded these posts in. They're pretty solid. Wired her all together. And I don't know how well you can see. You can see it there. He's doing really good. Travis is doing good. There's four branches coming up there. Um, he's growing really well. We're supposed to have rain tonight, possible thunder showers late this afternoon. So he should get some more rain. And then Sunday and Monday are supposed to be really nice. I don't know about the rest of the week, but worst comes to worst, we may have to bring out the barrel again and start putting water in there for him. But that's what we got up to this week. So flagpole up, flags are up, new cage for Travis. Um, Ken's going camping this weekend, so we're not going to be out here on Saturday. That's why I decided to do this on Friday. Um, I'll probably be out here for Monday because I don't think there's really anything else going on. Um, I really think that's about it. We didn't get, a, didn't get a whole lot done, but we did. there was some progress made. And uh, there's always progress made. Even if it's only a little bit. But we got stuff moving around. Everything's going good. And the grass is growing like a freaking weed. I have to cut it again. And then I got to start on more gravel on the roadway as well. Finish off breaking down these pallets. 
that pile of slab wood over there has got to go on the side of the of the uh, shed which we'll get to that this week I might have to borrow John's nailer to do that and of course we got firewood to split and that's really about it that's uh that's our weekend review for progress so um it's a beautiful day out here it's been overcast all day the sun peaks out occasionally it's not bad it's a really nice day a little bit of a breeze every once in a while and uh really summer's here and this is the May 2 4 weekend. This is the unofficial start to summer. So we're into it now. So that's it, sports fans. That's, that's what's happened this week out at the property. And yeah, that's really about it. The fucking squirrels keep getting into my squirrel proof bird feeder. I have no idea how to stop them. So I got to work on that. Any comments to that? Any suggestions that would help me? I'd be much appreciative. So please, uh, like this video, um, comment what you'd like to see, you know, comment anything that you got. It helps with the algorithm to get this more seen. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I got 170 some odd subscribers now, which is really cool. I can need 500 to do a live. So anyways, we'll get there. Um, and share this video with all your friends. Because I need more subscribers, I need more likes, I need more comments. And that's about it. So, that's what's going on. We'll see you here next week.